Munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and today we're going to be reviewing Amazon reviews on hamster cages. Yay! So hamsters are going to be the main focal point of this. However, hamster cages are very similar to gerbil care and mouse care. So just to let you guys know, hamster is what we mainly see at the rescue, which I run here in Washington State. Hello, for those of you who are unaware. And I would like to take this opportunity to make this into kind of a fun little thing for you guys where these enclosures we are going to be reviewing with the comments section could be enclosures that you guys can vote on for me to review next so I'll have a straw poll at the end of the video so stay tuned for that so some enclosures you're going to see me talk about in this video and some enclosures I might actually have just set aside but I just want to take a look at these comments so let's just jump right into it on Amazon here. So the first thing you see here that is sponsored is gonna be the Savic Hamster Sky Metro. That is actually not too bad of an enclosure. However, I don't see that for Syrian hamsters. That's more of a dwarf hamster or stunted or young Syrian hamster, not an adult Syrian hamster. And next to it is the KT Critter Home, which this one is only for bigger animals, although you would never put like a guinea pig inside of this or a ferret. But the thing is, it has too wide of bar spacing and people don't really understand when it comes to enclosures that bar spacing matters because hamsters can get through bars that are very large. So any sort of guinea pig or rabbit or even ferret style enclosures, you need to make sure that bar spacing is tiny so they can't escape through it. So it's unfortunate that sometimes when people see that, they think that's the hamster cage, but that is actually not the hamster cage. The hamster version of that is in blue and it is the super critter trail. And surprisingly enough, people thought the KT actually made a new design and a new cage for hamsters, but no guys, they only copied one of their existing cages. They have not made a new new cage in two decades after they originally bought, uh, I think it was, what was the brand called again? The very first brand. Well, anyways, they bought the brand that originally made the Critter Trails and implemented that into the KT brand. For those of you who weren't aware, yeah, KT was only geared towards feeding animals, not catering to every animal's needs with cage supplies and cages. So this section right here is actually the top 10 or top five hamster cages due to popularity. Sometimes Amazon's Choice, which unfortunately the Amazon's Choice here is the Midwest Critterville Arcade Hamster Cage, which I've already reviewed. And sometimes people don't listen to me because it looks so cute. Oh, it's so cute. <sighs> so first we got the, well, it's basically the fur plast version of the hamster cage, which, oh my gosh, that is such a long title right there. This is, this is not good. Anyways, next Midwest, next is the preview, which right now is $94.99. That is high and that's due to pandemic and third party sellers. So that's not around where the price should be. That is really high, but they also might be raising the bar for the price on that because of the popularity. Two years ago, it was around $60 and it is now almost a hundred. That is insane. Insane. So sooner or later, we might actually see the preview be as much as say, for instance, the Savic Hamster Metro Area Haven, you name it. But anyways, the next one is actually what preview considers as the Hamster Haven, which this one is tiny, it costs less, and it's pathetic. And then the next one down there is the popular KT two-tier level habitat. Eh, this has killed so many hamsters over the years. Oh my gosh. Next is the Savic Modern Hamster Cage in gray. And this is almost $100, but it is tiny. And then we have the UME Small Animal High Rise Tank Topper, which is only the tank topper. It's not the actual tank. And it's a 10 gallon, so it sucks already. The next one is the Habitrea Small Animal Cage, which I've already reviewed. And we could just jump into the ones that are currently at the top here. So let's dive into it. I'm just gonna call this a fur plast because I don't know what type of brand this is. And please, this is it says brand fur plast right there. Never mind. Why didn't they just say fur plast? Anyways, this is the fur plast hamster cage that Bon Bon and Cloud came in that I ended up uh, giving to the Seattle Animal Shelter because they didn't have enough enclosures and they got a litter of hamsters in. And so we donated cages that we don't use over there so that they can use them because they need enclosures over there. They don't always all the time get enclosures with the surrenders. And with them, they try their best to at least inform people of what they need. Let's look at the 
ratings here, it says 4.5 out of 5. Now, people are not going to look at the non-verified reviews, unfortunately, when making their cage decision making. They actually will see it. They were like, oh, this looks so big. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it's so cool. So you see a Assyrian hamster literally inside of that. It's as big as the wheel. Why, people? And let's just take a look. That's Top door, easy access. That's a tiny top door when I saw it. But there's the measurements right there. Deep base is approximately 340 square inches. That's not enough. If people have done their research, that's not enough. <laughs> it literally says so right there. That's only 340. So this is a good setup for mice. That's it. Mice can be inside of here just fine for a minimum. So I would say for this, one to two mice. So let's look at the comments because everybody thinks this is great. So let's do the, uh, should we do top comments? No, let's do the recent comments because you guys want to know, right? By the way, all this information is online, so I'm not going to hide anyone's username. Plus there's like no way to contact people. It's not a social media account. It's just people leaving their reviews over items that they purchased. Right off the bat, we see one that's not verified, but it says the cage is too small, but gives it three stars. Okay. <laughs> this cage is too small. I looked at this cage and from just looking at it, I knew that this would be too small for my hamster. Do not buy if you want a happy hamster. That is not a legit review. Okay, let's stick to legit reviews because we want to see people's actual opinion on things that they have physically that they've tried. This one says potential to be a great cage. This cage has a lot of potential, but falls short in some areas. Let me just start by dismissing my steam accounts. There we go. Anyways, let me start by saying my hamster is a very small winter white baby dwarf. My largest problem with the product is the number of modifications I've had to do to make the cage work has cost me so much money. Yeah, that is very true. It is already high in price. So modifying it further just to fit your needs sucks. But at the same time, it still doesn't meet the square inch minimum for hamsters in the United States because the United States market and laws are different than that of Germany and the United Kingdom. So that is the difference between why United Kingdom has 620 square inches as a minimum and the United States is stuck at 450 and the Philippines and Mexico don't even have minimums because the enclosures down there suck or are non-existent. The two levels look great at first, but my hamster quickly chewed up the ramp in a very short period of time due to stress and possibly not have Having enough chew toys. Enrichment, basically. I had to make a new ramp out of wood to get her up to the top. The wheel fit into the bracket too loose, so I had to buy a new wheel, which is typical of kits when they say comes with all these accessories, including a wheel. The wheels and accessories are absolute garbage. It's a gimmick to get new time people to buy their enclosure and then waste globs and globs of money on it. it it's, it's a terrible scheme. I hope people can fear out of this, but it never will happen. Honestly, throughout several decades, people are still looking into this stuff, buying it because they think it's appealing and not really doing research for the specific animal that they want. My little chewer started in on the plastic food dish, house, etc. These all had to be replaced with ceramic or wood accessories. Jeez, winter whites don't really chew that much. I've never really had a winter white go absolutely nuts on chews. And the girl says right here that this is a baby winter white baby so hearing that it's completely chewed up indicates there's a problem and instead of fixing the enclosure they just put in accessories now the base of the cage seems to be warping it bows out in the middle i wonder if this will continue to worsen i've tried to look up contact information for the company that makes the cage however i did not get a response by email it's possible the email was incorrect but i really need a replacement tray and i have no idea how to contact overall this was not worth the money i spent how do you even return a cage that's occupied by a pet sweetheart you look into appropriate enclosures, you buy a different enclosure. You, a lot of these companies, again, don't make replacement parts. And if they do, they are legit awesome. But when it comes to the actual enclosure, they do not. And Savic is actually one of the hamster companies that will give you replacement parts if you contact their help line number that they have on the paper that you receive with your enclosure. So that is wonderful. However, companies like KT or even the preview don't have, actually, no, I think the preview does have replacement parts if you call the number. But anyways, the majority of not so great companies or not so great enclosures don't have replacement parts. But it sucks that this person can look up the contact number but cannot look up appropriate care. I know it's sassy of me to say that, but it's just at the same time, we have an internet. You can look further into it. But again, if you're unaware, the internet sometimes lies or has misinformation or outdated information popping up first in search engines. And the search engines get rotated 
rotated around every, I want to say, couple months because the last time I saw it said 360 was the appropriate minimum and now it's saying higher than 360 or not 360 at all. It's, it's so weird when it works that way. Next one says cheap plastic arrived with broken parts in part bag. Box no damage. So yes, when you get cheap plastic enclosures that don't have like a rubber or wire base, it can be quite hard or glass even. If you have glass shipping over or acrylic, sometimes they crack. But if the material is plastic or this thin plastic, it's not gonna be good. And more than likely you're gonna have chipping in the future if it's so easy to break upon shipping, especially when shipping containers usually protect the package very well. Great cage, hamster loved it. Oh Lord, did it now. This this is a great cage. My daughter's hamster, Smokey, loves it. It's very large and is over the required amount of square inches for her Russian dwarf. No, it's not! <laughs> Who says? Who says it's above? It's not! The cage is also very sturdy and can withstand being chewed on. <laughs> not by what the other reviewer said. The hideout is ideal for hiding and can be taken apart and put back together. The wheel functions properly, though it's kind of noisy. The only slight problem we had was the water bottle. On the first night, it would not work and the hamster was thirsty. We took it apart and it seems to work fine. Overall, this is a great cage and the hamster loves it. Though we recommend testing the water bottle before use. How about, how about no? How about no? Oh my gosh, what hamster is this? Oh yeah, that's right, they said Russian dwarf. That is a really bad setup right here. Not a lot of bedding. Uh, you have one included hide. You have what looks like a couple chew toys in there. So that's okay. But overall, they are burrow animals and they burrow in bedding. They don't really use their hides as much. But if it is in their bedding, sometimes they incorporate that or they incorporate them into their tunnel system. But this whole setup right here sucks. It just, when you look at it, that's not looking enriching to you. No, you're not adding enough bedding. They're not doing enough and hopefully they do seek proper care or look further into it if they're really enjoying their animal. But I can tell you right now, some of these reviews, when they get an animal, they think it's fine, everybody's adjusting, but then once they had it further down the road, then their opinions start to change or they see the problems with it. So these reviews typically, when they have positive reviews like this, it's because it arrived and it looks like it's functioning at that time, so. That's kind of difficult to just see if this person really truly loves it. Unless they state, we've had it for three, four months and it still holds up. Next one, good cage for mice or dwarf hamsters, no Syrians. Not for dwarfs, stop saying dwarfs. Why do you people say dwarfs for the fur plaques? This is not okay. <laughs> but at least they're correct, it is good for mice. Pros, perfect for a couple of female mice or a couple of dwarf hamsters. The pan is deep enough no bedding can be pushed out. I guess, I guess with the design, no bedding can be pushed out. I don't remember what the pan depth is of this enclosure. Cons, water bottle is trashy. Way too small for even a dwarf hamster. Please do not use the provided water bottle. Wheel is trash. This wheel is actual joke. No way any small pet can use it comfortably. And basically the last warning is do not use for a Syrian hamster. Again, it's a gimmick. It pulls you in with the accessories. Then you come to realize, oh, they're garbage. Great beginner cage. No, oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> we really like this cage setup. My daughter was able to bond easy with her hamster since the cage does not have a ton of items in it. The cage is supposed to have a ton of items in it. It's because they need enrichment. What? Let's just have a barren wasteland so that my daughter can only place her hand in there and that's all the hamster ever knows. <laughs> Sorry. Sass, dry humor maybe, who knows? I hope you like it. But anyways, it's just, no, no, this is not what they need. The only issue we had was her hamster was able to chew a very small hole in one of the corners before we caught him. We have since used a filler and a house over top to stop the continued destruction. The continued destruction, five stars. Hey, it's great for my animal, but it's chewing out of it. Gee, I wonder why it's chewing out of it. Again, these are people that just don't know any better and expect that everything a pet store tells you or a pet company tells you is right. Please seek out hamster clubs and hamster associations that make it their hobby to inform proper care to people who want to have these guys as companions and don't see them necessarily as accessories, but animals that you bond with and you have a connection with. Because a lot of the times pet stores just profit off of you getting bored of your hamster or replacing items for your hamster. Good for hamsters. Excellent for two hamsters, enough space for fun toys. Oh God, what, what two hamsters are those? Are those dwarfs? And if that Syrian hamsters, oh my God, you have a recipe for a disaster here in a couple weeks if they become territorial in that very, very small 340 square inch space, which actually I 
measured the pan in the middle and the pan said 286 square inches. So I don't know where this 340 is coming from unless they're measuring the lip of the pan where the metal wire sits on top of because that lip of the top pan is there to catch the wire and then the rest of it just caves in. And the last one says, nice hamster cage. Our new hamster seems to be enjoying this cage. It was one of the few cages that offered a decent amount of floor space. Are you kidding me? One of the only few. The sponsored ones even have more floor space than this. What are you talking about? And a way to expand easily as well. That is very true. At least it has an expander port. However, people always think it's a one and done deal with enclosures that they don't need to spend any more money on them. So that's the difficult part about this. I like that it came with a wheel to start with as well as a house food bowl and water bottle. It's a very nice starter cage that seems to be serving us well so far. So far. See, that's that, that's the key word. So far until they realize distraction and then chaos and then your hamster escapes or becomes unhappy. That's it for that one. Let's check out the next one, which is going to be Midwest Critterville. The one I've already reviewed, but let's just look at their top, no, most recent reviews. Here we go. Mi hamster si ve feliz. Mi encanto porque tiene un buen tamaño. I don't, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop right there. I, I took a course of Spanish, but anyways, um, I don't know what this person says, but they gave it five stars. Um, and ooh, what do we have here? A Syrian hamster in the corner, a piece of cloth, a food bowl on the bottom here, as well as the top portion, and um, light bedding. And oh my God, the back is curving. Why? Oh lady, no, 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 this is not good for your hamster. What are you doing? Look at that curvage. Oh, it's awful. No, please stop. All right, so we got some negative reviews coming in. Oh, good. That's at least one of these is verified. Nothing fits well. The front panel easily pops off and the tube's connections frequently come undone. That is true. When I reviewed this, they are such flim and easy to rip off plastic pieces that if one thing ends up falling off, it's done, it's dead. And like I said before, some of these things you can replace with some companies, the crappier ones you can't replace unless you buy it over again, yay. But anyways, next one says, worth the money, sturdy, fun cage for my hamster. Is it though? Because I, I remember measuring this enclosure and it's somewhere between the 200 to 300 range. I think it's 200 because the pan's not that large, but they think the upper portion of it is big and it's not because it's very thin. So the hamster has like a little itty bitty space to navigate in as they make their way up to the wheel and hide compartment. They literally have to struggle to go up there to the stuff that they need. Which again, that wheel is too small for a Syrian. It's just starter enclosures or enclosures that get you with accessories are terrible enclosures, typically. But the Savic Hamster Plaza and the Haven, they're good cages when it comes to the pan space, but when it comes to the accessories, not so much. But at least that is one company that can remember that comes with accessories, but it's just accessories that you just don't need. And I use those cages and I don't need all of those accessories that it comes with. But there's that. Super cute, some tight spots for Syrian because it's inappropriate for Syrian. But let's give it five stars. My large Syrian hamster was able to squeeze onto wheel, but tight fit I might replace with slightly smaller wheel. No! Slightly smaller? You people are insane. Not my fans out there. I'm just, these guys, these people are insane. Are you kidding me? Oh, it looks like a tight fit for my hamster to get it on the wheel. So I think I'm gonna go for a smaller one so it struggles or don't even use wheel at all. Yes, that, that's the life, guys, that's the life. Otherwise, the space is fine for her. No! I, I know, you guys are probably like, Munchie, you're going too, too into this, but it's just like, at the same time, this, the, the space you see right now, she's going to exhibit stress symptoms, and a lot of people don't understand. Bar biting is not natural to them. Yes, their teeth grow, but metal, they cannot chew metal. Their teeth can chip off and break and cut the insides. It's, it's just not a good, not a good thing at all. And when they exhibit symptoms of pacing back and forth, or being frantic and not meeting their needs, which is very instinctively still inside of them. We domesticated hamsters like a century ago in the early to late thirties and forties. So it hasn't been that long since these guys have been in our domestic lives versus cats and dogs. So people don't understand that when you think they're small and then when they start to get bigger, they're like, everything's gonna be fine. It, it's just, it's not, you will see bad behavior 
because their needs are not being met. And honestly, I wish I could talk to these guys individually to kind of steer them on the right path, but they have to do it themselves. That's the problem here. I, like many other hamster channels and just animal channels in general, try to steer people in the right direction. And if people enjoy the content and it changes their thoughts and perspective on certain stuff, that's great. But when you see me raging out at stuff like this, it's not necessarily the person, it is just the incorrect information that they have in their heads that they just can't knock it out of, you know what I'm saying? Or they just didn't do enough research or they go with what people at pet companies suggest. This one isn't verified and it has Ham Ham's picture on it. So this, this person did good, but at the same time, people are not really going to pay attention to it because it's not verified and that's the problem. Best hamster home ever, no, no. Oh goodness, no, Brie, what are you talking about? Snow White loves her new home. She now has room to run and play and hide all of her chew toys. At least she has chew toys, that's good. Hamster killer, oh, oh my God, really? This cage isn't safe and too small. Many hamsters have died in this cage. Oh, never mind. it's not verified. This is just somebody spreading more information about why this cage is bad. Anyways, the last one that's verified is the Midwest Critterville Arcade Hamster Cage is exactly as advertised. Our hamster loves her space. Now, this comment right here about the killer hamster, I am going to look for and see how many said they killed. Dangerous to hamsters. Stay away, killed my pets. Cage killed my hamster. Danger, do not buy. Let's read these real quick because this is very important. So we had this cage for about four months with no problems. It showed up with some broken pieces, but whatever, it was doable. There is a small gap between the wheel and the top of the cage and the front removable plastic. This is where our dwarf hamster got caught. We came home and our daughter thought she was sleeping in a funny spot. In reality, her hamster was strangled to death. She had gotten her head stuck in between an above mentioned gap and we found her hanging from her neck, which was stuck in the gap. Please do not purchase this cage. It will eventually kill your hamster. I will be addressing this with the company, but I'm almost positive nothing will be done. Yes, that is exactly true. And this happened in November of last year, so it's almost been a year, and this cage is still on the market. There is a lot of these cheap, small enclosures where hamsters clearly have exhibited stress-like behaviors trying to escape or just getting stuck in places where they just want to travel more to. They see an opportunity and they will take it, not knowing that they can't back out of it, and it's their overall death. And when people are not around their hamsters 24-7, you could have accidents in the home that is supposed to protect them and keep them safe from escaping. But the thing is they want to escape because they're not being satisfied and it's so sad. And hopefully this person afterwards didn't have trauma with future hamsters, but hopefully got help and saw out appropriate care and did a little bit more research as to why this happened. I had many problems, green shelves broke easily, gate gap is big enough that dwarf hamster escape, wheel is not ideal location to use for my pets, but the worst of all of it is the cage metal has toxic pig or content that poisoned my pets and killed them when they chewed on them. Um, so this sounds like speculation about like it is poisonous or something's not right. More than likely their hamster chewed up pieces of the enclosure because it was stressed, there was something going on. And usually sometimes if your hamster, even in bigger enclosures, seems fine, but they seem stressed inside of them, there could be an underlying health condition. And stress for hamsters, they are very prone to getting diseases from stress. So it's a possibility that this guy was so frantic and stressed and was not being given all that they need that they chewed up the enclosure, which could have caused more stress and more problems. So it could have been something else that killed them. Cause I don't really think chewing up all this plastic because they don't really digest it. They just chew it up and it falls down and inside. They don't really swallow it. They do have seeds going into their cheap pouches all the time when they stuff them in there. So I don't really think that they would just ingest something like that. They will chew it and spit it out. And I have seen hamsters do that, especially with the rim of tanks. Oh my gosh, you have to be careful with that. Everybody who has tanks knows about that. If they climb on stuff and they chew out, especially Syrians, Syrians, all right? Then you see all the little chunks down below and you're like, why? you do this? Oh, you want to see me? Fine. But I've had that happen with the 40 gallon breeders. And when I see that behavior, I try to correct it. And sometimes they just knock like one of their hides close to the rim, being able to get up there and start chewing away at it. Oh, those little pesky things. But sometimes it's just very hard, even with the amount of chew toys and enrichment you give them to make them happy. Like I said before, due to instincts and just being freshly domesticated, not even a century ago. Cage killed my hamster, do not buy this hamster cage. Within one day, my hamster was trapped between the wheel and the side of the cage and the wheel squished his head flat and killed him. Absolutely terrible way to die for an animal. My family is completely distraught. We can't believe we lost our hamster just trying to give him a better home. Do not buy this for your hamster, he will die. It's not a good home and it's so sad. 
to see this. And then the other one says, do not purchase this kill my daughter's hamster. My daughter received this habitat for her birthday only to wake up one morning to find her hamster stuck between the wheel and the front panel. Lifeless, needless to say, she was devastated. So this is a hamster killer and it's clearly happening in the same freaking spot. And the company obviously has been notified. Midwest, you need to do better. We will look at this preview pet products because you guys know that the preview 528 is the good one. But what about the bad ones? Ooh, look at this thing. Isn't that great? It has death story because hamsters can jump off of this height and fall down here because there's no ledge catching them. Now with cages that stack up in layers, you wanna have a layer that's close to the top because if there's a gap right here, they will fall, they will hit, they will break limbs. And these can be very, very dangerous for dwarf hamsters because they do not have good balance. Syrians at least can hold on, but they are not climbers. They are not monkeys that they can hold on to for long periods of time, branches and trees and things like that. That's not them. They are burrow animals. They can perch up high, but they need to be at a safe level so they don't plummet that far. So it's just sometimes can be a very big disaster if they don't have ledges in there. And oh my gosh, this is geared towards hamsters. So I can't wait. It's rated 3.9 out of five stars. Woo! Your pets will escape. Oh, first one that happened a couple days ago, September 4th. I've only had this cage for a couple of weeks. My mouse escaped, he's missing. The gaps between the bars aren't very big. So I thought this would work, but the wire caging bends easily and he was able to bend it and make his way through it. Now, this means there's a material problem because it's cheap, bendable material, which means if it's bendable, that means your hamster, gerbil, mouse, whoever will escape. So it's not a safe cage, but yet companies make this and they sell it to you for $26.15 because they want your money and it's very cheap and easy to make. So cheap is, it's great apparently because people are cheap and so they want to go cheap for their animal, not realizing it will make you angry once your poor animal escapes. And there has been so many losses due to escapees, especially when they have another pet in the home. So please, 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 please get yourself a sturdy enclosure first. Make sure you're checking that sucker daily to make sure that there's no gaps, no way for them to escape, yada, yada, yada. I have not had an escapee of preview 528 cages and I'm so happy about that. So it sucks that this one does. I have a small dog and live in an apartment. Oh, great. I just, I just mentioned other animals and here we go. I'm pretty sure we won't find him and his cage caused us to lose a pet. Yeah, that's when you have another animal in the home, it's your responsibility if it is a predator not to have prey around it. Don't let them interact with it. Don't do anything like that. Both cats and dogs do not. Horrible product if you don't have patience. I had this cage for a while now and it's absolutely horrible to assemble. Definitely do not buy if you're not patient. I use this for feeder mice and it was okay at first, but the assembly of it is absolutely annoying and just threw it away because the little sides stopped fitting in the holes. I still have one, but will most definitely be looking at a different cage for my mice. I also had to use hair ties to make sure it was escape proof. Not to mention I had to file down the little hook areas to get the cage to fit. So basically it's saying it's a crap product because of the materials and it is true. This one says do not buy. Gosh, we have a lot of very negative reviews from recent people, which is good because that means that hopefully it discourages others from purchasing this enclosure. Metal is very flimsy and I wish I read reviews before I bought. Exactly. Since metal is not sturdy at all, roof will not stay in place, so the cage dropped when I carried it by the handle. Broke plastic, one mouse dead, another is paralyzed by the looks of it. Assembly manual is a joke. Goodness, and all these guys are apparently getting this for mice. Does it say anywhere that it is good for mice? Hamster Haven. Nope, it just says that it is for hamsters. So I don't know why mice owners are sticking them in here. Anyways, let's look at the other one that's rating this four stars. Good size cage, slippery ramp. I got the large size for two winter white dwarf hamsters. Why two? Why two? Oh my gosh, please guys. If you're a beginner and don't know much about dwarf hamsters and don't know much about colonies and don't know much about territory and aggression and issues that you won't see in the wild, but will see in captivity due to the less space they have to actually freely roam and explore and have enrichment, then don't get two. They need a buddy. They need to be social. Dwarf hamsters, while can be in colonies, are not like gerbils, which are dependent on another. Winter whites, Russian dwarfs, Roboroskis even, they can live without a buddy. They don't need to have a buddy and they really shouldn't in domestic life. There is people who are very experienced and even then they say don't do it because they've seen quarrels before and they don't really recommend it and they probably wouldn't do it again. And even Erin's Animals, I believe she said, it's not really recommended, but it is possible if given a wide enough space. Uh, cage wires are not totally even, but works okay. Only complaint is the ramp. It's too slippery for dwarf hamsters. Luckily, this is an easy fix with glue gun. See photo, add more bumps. Using glue gun can help with hamsters going up and down. Overall, this is a 
good cafe. It's a good cafe, guys. <laughs> Let's take a look at their setup. Oh, they do have a winter white. So they have added shoe toys in there. They apparently fixed the ramp uh, with their glue gun, which honestly, I would not be gluing this because I swear the glue gun has toxic chemicals in that glue. And if they d decided to chew up these ramps that they made, it could be very toxic to them and it might not be good. And they have an incorrect wheel and a very small other wheel that is very thin. This wheel actually came with one of our gerbil surrenders and unfortunately the wheel is not wide enough to safely run on it and could cause problems because it has slits in it. I believe this is the wheel that has slits in the wheel section right here which can be very bad for winter whites. They can get their foot stuck in the wheel and get it either broken or cut off. It has happened. It is terrible. So I'm telling you guys now not a good setup plus it is not a good idea to have poor hamsters inside of an enclosure like this. So just seeing that this this person rated it as a good review is just bad. This person, not verified, but trying to warn people. This one, good for the price. I got this large, 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 large. That's not even the right cage, but let's just, let's just take a look at it, all right? Large cage for my female Siri hamster, and it's pretty good cage size for the price. I didn't like the cage accessories. They weren't as sturdy. The wheel was also too small, but it's a good wheel for dwarf hamsters. I would probably think not. If you have those, I'm currently looking to get better climbing cage accessories for her, but this is good enough for now. Let's review it. That's very small. And that is a comfort or an all living thing wheel, which is an eight inch wheel. It is better than what the cage accessories come with, but it is not okay for Syrians. And there is a large water bottle in here. So this is larger than what I typically see people putting their hamsters inside of. However, there's one hammock hide and tilting my head. It's just, it's not really enough room. And I don't know how much that pan depth is because you can't see it there, but it's, it's, it's not good. But the wheel is very cheap and it has already broken cause my hamster uses it every day and broke while he was using it. I love it. Yeah, no, it's, it's not good. It's, it's just not good at all. Oh God. Okay. Moving on to a next enclosure and it's going to be this one, the Savic because Savic was doing a good job, but now it's like not doing a great job. So let me just see here. It's 23 by 11. 11 inches, oh no, and it's 17 inches high. So 17 inches high is pretty good when it comes to Syrian hamsters. 17 inches high is typical of 40 gallon breeders. So the height is good, but the problem is it's 23 by 11. That's like around 230 plus square inches. It's just, no, 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 it's so tiny. Like, look how tiny it is. Look at that Syrian right here. Oh, I can't zoom in any further, but look at that Syrian. It's as big as the wheel. This is rated 3.7 out of five. Poor quality for premium price, or I got a bad batch of plastic accessories. No, my friend, you did not, because these accessories are crap. The ladder attachment plastic piece broke on the first day. The hamster wheel plastic connection to the cage broke on the second day. I could have paid less than half the price to get a low quality item at Petco, paid 96 to get something that will last and customer service that will stand behind their product. So it shows right here, it's breaking. This is either, oh gosh, this is kind of hard. It looks like a Syrian hamster, but it also looks like a winter white. It is a very blurred picture, but if the wheel broke, it probably was the weight of it. And the Savic hamster wheels that come with the cage, I measured them and it is about six inches. I think it was six inches or was it seven? No, actually I think the last one I got was seven. So the Savic has seven inch wheels for the Metro. And if this is a seven inch wheel, then just the construction of this is just crap. It's just, it's not that great. So I can see why it broke. Next one is another bad one too. Bottom plastic drawer arrived damaged. Arrived damaged loose pieces in the box. Look at that. Will that hold up? Test of time, plastic base, not good. Arrived damaged, ooh, another one that arrived damaged. So let's take a look at this one. Damage right there, especially where it's trying to hold the wire part. And what am I seeing here? I do not know. <laughs> oh well, moving on, it's just damaged. This one says hammy mansion on august 10th this cage is very roomy and my hamster loves it originally he had a small critter trail cage that my teddy bear hamster felt very tight and limited in and at first he was very skeptical about his new cage but once he was exposed to it enough he ended up falling in love with it we put him in there for about 10 to 15 minutes at a time about two three times a night until he was comfortable being in there for longer sleeping in there for him it took about four days until he was comfortable assembling it was very easy you just snap on the pieces together the only thing is that the wheel is too small for my teddy bear hamster so i traded this one 
with the old wheel my dwarf hamster had and he loves it but it's very squeaky. Other than that this cage is like a mansion and I'm sure your hammy will absolutely love it. This is a solid purchase and worth every penny. Oh for a hundred dollars this is worth it. So there's his <laughs> There's his private parts, great job. Nice to show that. And what the cage looks like. Ay, caramba. Oh my gosh, no, you gave him the other wheel? That wheel is like a five inch wheel. That is a stupid wheel. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. And there's not, like, look at that. You have plenty of pan depth for bedding and you give him like two to three inches worth. You have so much possibility to add more to it. But look how tiny it is. It is sitting currently on what appears to be above a printer. And those printers are very small too. So it's not that big, but maybe this is a cage I'll review in the future. Next one says, expensive but worth buying again. Expensive but cute, perfect, roomy, easy to clean. Hamster loves it. All the other ones from pet store were like deathbeds or accidents waiting to happen. I've never heard of people saying deathbeds <laughs> before, but okay. Nice modern design, easy to clean. Now everybody is commenting on the aesthetics of it. Love the modern design, easy to clean, removable drawer at the bottom of the water bottle leaked really badly. So I had to replace it. Also the wheel is very small, not much room for my chubby hamster. Sir. So why, wait, 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 if there's not much room, why did you rate it four? That seems like a three star review right there. Love it, but received damage. Another damaged one. Good cage for your little rodents. Great little cage and customer service. I had a wheel come in broken now. Was shipped a replacement wheel within the next week. This cage keeps the paper shreddings in one place for easy cleanup. One issue found was with the wheel causing lots of noise, but easily remedied by putting petroleum jelly where the wheel spins to make barely any noise. But this cage is so small just by looking at the dimensions of it. It's so small. Moving on, let's, re let's look at something that we haven't yet. Wait, why does that say guinea pig? Oh my gosh, Chichilla or Degu can use this one. That's a OVO transport unit. Ferret can use the Furplast cage. Guinea pig with the three layers. Oh my God, this is bestsellers by type. Oh my God, oh, this is just, this is, this is a disaster. All right, let's look at another preview cage, which is on sale and it's with Prime. It is 22 inches long and 12 inches wide with five 16th inch wire spacing. They like to say this is for hamsters and gerbils, which gerbils will chew up that pan if they can get a hold of it, but it looks like it's completely wired inside. So it looks like a bird cage. Let me just show you a little closer. See, it's all wired inside. So it's not possible for gerbils to get to the pan. So that's why they're saying this is for gerbils. Although everything inside of it is made out of plastic. So it's like, were you, were you thinking preview? Hello? As of August, this is when it was last purchased, but this person said three stars adequate if you set it up right. Like the other reviewers, I immediately threw the awful wheel out and put a saucer on the bottom instead to address the concern about the second level being a suffocating hazard. I installed the two racks in an inch away from the side of the cage. See photo. Now I have a travel cage for my mouse or a place to put him when I'm cleaning his tank. Okay, so this is just a cage for your mouse. This actually might work out for a mouse depending on the dimensions. But at the same time, it's like, it doesn't say in the description it's for mice. It just says hamsters and gerbils. They do have a photo and that is what it looks like. So they're just saying that people or reviewers have stated that their animal has suffocated in between here. So that's terrible. And look at it. The ledge doesn't even connect. Like I said previously, this could be a fall hazard for anyone who has layers. They don't need vertical space. They need horizontal space, but mice can do both horizontal and vertical with vertical being enough pan depth to actually create burrows underground. They do like hammocks, they do like climbing. So that is something that is more catered towards them, but hamsters definitely not vertical. What you could do for hamsters is have perches. They definitely do like perches, but they don't need the majority of the space being in the sky. They need it being horizontal. Next one says hard to assemble. This is okay cage, but the house comes apart easily and my hamster keeps knocking them off the second story and I can't get the roofs to stay on. I'm getting a different cage soon. Hopefully a better one and good one. That's in the actual square inch range. Don't waste your money. Nothing stays assembled. The little house came apart constantly. We finally trashed them and the ladders don't stay on. Do your research for a better cage. How about you do your research? What is this? <laughs> Overall, 7 out of 10. Oh, geez. Okay, tell me. This cage is a nice size. It came rebuilt. We only used one floor. We didn't use the wheel. We also took out the wire bed bedding because of his feet. It's a nice cage. Could you please add periods to your sentences? Oh my gosh. Because of his feet, it's a nice cage. It's an upgrade from what he was in. Overall, it's a nice roomy cage. Cage is roomy. Roomy cage. Cage, cage, cage. Oh, it's a Syrian. Ah, ah, that doesn't look roomy at all. 
Although they're adding a lot of stuff into it, they probably shouldn't have all those like rice pops there. The wheel is tiny, which that is a Tiny Tails wheel. So they actually started off using a Tiny Tail and then upgraded to a not so great preview cage. And I believe the pan depth on this preview cage is very shallow as well. I think it's only up to three inches, but then again, if you put it exactly to the three inch mark, bedding will pile over. So it's not good or ideal. And the houses are made out of plastic. And you also have the wire that it has to climb up of. And the bottom pan has nothing but wire. But as you see up top here, they did put what looks like a very thin layer of cloth. That won't do anything. You need to put a solid surface so he doesn't slip through the wires. Like, so it's okay. Well, first off, most of the stuff it gives us is useless, which is usually how they get you, which they got you. <laughs> Throw out the wheel because that wheel is horrible for them. Ditch the tray it comes with. It's better to just have the red part, easy to clean, easy to assemble. Just wish they made a video explaining it just for the people who don't know. Would not recommend for a dwarf hamster. Perfect for a bear hamster or Siri hamster. There's no such thing as a bear hamster. Oh, good lord, people. They're probably describing a teddy bear hamster, which is just a nickname pet stores give for Syrian hamsters. So saying that it's perfect for Syrian hamsters, but not winter white or dwarf hamsters, it's like, what, what? <laughs> what, Syrians need so much more, are you kidding me? Terrible, only good for Robo. And this person is not verified, so we're not gonna be reading it. We are very pleased with this cage. This cage didn't come with instructions, but my daughter loves it and it's the perfect size and her pet and my daughter are very pleased. That was not helpful. So let's move on. Next one. This one, the fur class hamster cage. That's all it says is fur class hamster cage, but this is titled the Laura hamster cage and the Paula. Oh my gosh, look at that. Why is it at an angle? Why, why? Okay, well look at this one. And the reviews are just so positive and it's Amazon's choice, really? So it has a 4.3 out of five, which is terrible, but it looks like it is big top wise. What is the dimensions on this one? This one says it is 18 by 11, which is still pathetic. That is tiny. So let's just take a look down here for the recent reviews. September, so this, it dates back very recently. Two thumbs up, my 11 year old put it together and Treasure loves it. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna be like, well Munchie, guess what? Here's someone that's 11 years old and could put it together and she loves it. Why don't you tackle this one? You can vote, don't worry. For any one of these enclosures that we see today that's in the straw poll at the very end of this video, you might be able to vote on which enclosure I purchase next for a review. By the way, when I purchase enclosures, I always return them unless I can use them. Great, my hamster loves his cage. He can't escape and loves the tubing. Overall, great price. Very, very, very vague. Good wire cage, but not better than glass. This cage is an excellent wired option for hamsters, but I wish I would have invested in a glass tank much sooner. I've used this cage for two separate hamsters now, and they both have developed an unhealthy habit of chewing the bars, which not only hurt them, but also kept me up at night. That is a stress sign. If you're 100% set on getting a wired enclosure, this is an excellent option with only a few flaws. The big problem I had with it was on numerous occasions, the tunnels would collapse under my hamster, allowing him to get loose until I found a way to take the tunnels. That's another thing. If you have, like for instance, tiny tails, tunnels that could easily be chewed around the rim, causing the tube to slide out or come out, or it might not even fit properly due to manufacturing incorrectly the measurements and the sizes, it could fall out causing an escapee. So materials for this enclosure are terrible from what reviews have now said. Even now, some of the tunnels are impossible to clean entirely even after hours of soaking. Oh, that's also another thing. All those tunnels that are mandatory to have attached to your enclosure, they need to be cleaned and you'll be cleaning a lot of it. So one simple enclosure where you can add accessories to it is great, but when an enclosure forces tunnels upon you that you must connect in order to make it complete and fun, really sucks. Next one, do not buy, which doesn't have a verified stamp. Great hamster cage. My tween daughter wanted a small animal to take care of. She decided on a dwarf hamster. She was using her own money to purchase it, so we had to bargain shop for a habitat. Oh God, really? After looking at the high price ones at the pet store, she turned to Amazon. This cage has all the bells and whistles of the pet store cages at half the price. My daughter liked how you can rearrange the cage to how you want it. A cheap option would be a bin cage, but if you're not handy with tools, then that's not a really good option. I know lots of people kind of force that in hamster groups, but when people really don't have the option, the best option after that would be get something at half price on like Craigslist or OfferUp, where I recently found a Savic Mickey cage, the extra large cage, not the extra large two, but the extra large. And that was only $40 and it came with 
a silent runner nine inch wheel and other accessories that I could use. And it was only $40 and that cage is $130. So it's a really good idea if you're bargain hunting to look on Craigslist and offer up first in Facebook market. But in this case, maybe they didn't have stuff around them. But at the same time, please don't just bargain hunt for like a cheap enclosure. You really should think about the animal first, not you and your self interest. Don't force the animal to be confined in a much smaller space when you see research Research out there suggesting bigger is better and should be ideal due to them living in the wild in their habitat running an average of five to ten miles depending on the species of hamster. So this is just sad overall. Let's go to another one. Oh god. People are just bargain hunting for cages online. Like how much is that? That's $57. That was the price of the pre-528 cage a couple years ago. And you could still find good deals, like I said, on OfferUp and Facebook Market and so we on so we forth. Let's talk about this one. This one I keep having people asking me if it's good. Just by looking at the 22 by 12, it is not good when it comes to size. And it is a three-story level where you can see that the pan, the first, second, and third. And because there is a lot of room to accidentally fall or if someone scales up the side of the cage and falls, there's a humongous gap, which is very, very concerning. And this is rated 3.9 out of 5. But before I look at the recent reviews of this enclosure, I want to see if it's actually killed due to fall damage, a hamster. So let's just type this in. Uh, killed our hamster, August. Hey, look, it's recent. This one says the water bottle that came with the cage apparently is crap. The ball at the end of the water spout came off. We were unable to find it. And two days later, the hamster was dead. Wait, did you say you didn't water your hamster? What is this? Oh. Oh, wait, I got it now. They think the hamster ingested it and got impacted and died. Guys, if you suspect your hamster ingested something it was not supposed to, which I find that very hard to believe, but it could be possible that the ball was impacted in the cheek pouches and then swallowed. If you suspect they swallowed something, take them to a vet. Take them to an exotic vet. If you don't have an exotic vet in your area or don't know exactly where to go, check Petco and PetSmart, ask them where they take their exotic pets to, and hopefully they give out good information so that you can take your hamster to an exotic vet. This one was recent. This is too small for any hamster. Uh, hamsters are burrowers and need at least six inches of bedding and the bare minimum 450 inch of floor space. So this person purchased this just to leave them shit. So this person does what I do, which I purchase enclosures, review them, and hopefully provide positive feedback. Although this was very brief and didn't really explain why. People can look at this review and say, okay, well, why is the bare minimum 450? Could you explain more on that? Or why do they need six inches of bedding? Could you explain more on that? It's not really going to change anybody's mind other than go, well, that didn't help me. So when you go to leave negative reviews, make sure you provide enough information that makes sense. Hey, I need a big wheel. Well, why do you need a big wheel? Well, if I have too small of a wheel, my back may curve. So provide detail. <laughs> Hard to put together, $100, nope, but nice looking. Easy to assemble, my 10 year old assembled this house for his hamster. Oh shoot, you guys are gonna be like, well, Munchie, hey look, you better be able to assemble this one because a 10 year old can do it. Disappointed, the cage came with some of the wood cracked. I was able to assemble it, but it didn't all line up perfectly. Some more of it has broken since and after only a month or two. For the price, I was really hoping it would last for the life of my gerbils. Oh, you're using this for gerbils. This actually states that's for gerbils. The thing that worries me though is it's made of wood. However, it looks like this is enclosed up here so it won't be able to chew up the wood trim here. However, the pan, once you look at it, if it opens up here, yes, this is plastic. They could definitely escape if that is plastic, which it is. So this is actually a really bad idea for gerbils and it's very flimsy plastic in here for the food dish and the wheel. The house is wood though, loved it. This is the best hamster cage I have ever had. It's a luxurious house for a hamster, 10 out of 10. It even smells fantastic. This was very sturdy when put together, completely unassembled and requires a screwdriver to put together. This was difficult at times, required two people to hold in place while using an electric screwdriver. But overall, it finally put together, it looks great. Not enough room to put all three levels with a Syrian hamster. Well, if you say not enough room to put all three levels with a Syrian hamster, Hamster, why did you rate it four? Four means that you're really satisfied with it using the majority of the enclosure, but some people, they don't, I feel like they don't rate the stuff correctly. 
but it's what it's whatever all right so let's do the last one which this actually is a sponsored one for some weird reason it's the yml which i think i have reviewed yml before hamster cage in blue this one has three stars so it's actually rated pretty poorly and look at it it looks like it got spat out of 1990. woo let's take a look at the review shall we oh actually what's the size of it 18 by 12 by 12 height god i hope nobody sticks their syrian hamster in it oh look that's a winter white, my bad. Oh, look. Oh, actually, I can't see. Um, um, that looks winter white, too. Um, um, actually, that kind of looks Syrian. Oh, that's a robo. Okay, never mind. Uh, is there no more? Okay, I can't make a, <laughs> I can't make a joke here of like, oh, there's a Syrian. I mean, somebody could say they stuck their Syrian inside of here. Take a look at the recent one, which was September 3rd. Oh, the last one after that was from April. My goodness. Okay. Not happy with product. Has too much in the cage and terrible noise when the hamster runs in the wheel. Too much in cage. It has, oh my God, that wheel is tiny. What the, what the, what's what that? There's not too much in the cage. This is actually more enrichment than what other cages provide. But at the same time, the materials are plastic and cheap and garbage. So it's pathetic and that is pathetic. What is this? I don't know what this is. What is that? Okay, th th that's instructions for some reason. But yeah, what, what, what is that? Is that a wheel too? Cause there's a wheel right there and a wheel right here. Oh boy. I really kind of want to review this one now. But it's up to you guys. Great for the price. At first we received the wrong cage. I contacted the seller and within a few days we had the right cage delivered. My daughter loves it. Really nice for the price and good size. Her answer has plenty of space to move up and go round down to the second floor. Ah, gotta please your daughter, right? Although I don't know what age your daughter is, but sometimes people include their ages like you saw in this video today. This has many accessories for a pet enrichment. It is very cheap quality and I expect the plastic pieces to break. The metal is also very cheap and bends. I recommend spending more for a product that will last. Okay, so this person <laughs> definitely crapped all over it, gave it two stars. Good value, poor quality, which if it's good value, just at least give it one star because you know, that, that's it. That's all it is. It's just good value. Uh, don't purchase, awful cheap, no directions. Hamster cage. I just like this product because when I got to my house and opened it, a lot of things were broken. Do not buy. I would strongly recommend you don't get this for a mouse. I got it and the first time it came, the plastic bottom was cracked and had a huge hole. So we sent it back and got a different one. However, although this one seemed fine, my three mice were able to escape somehow. My dog got one, another one is somewhere hidden in my basement. And the last one, my sister hysterically caught and is now living in a bucket until we can find a better home. Oh, those poor mice. I just, <sighs> this could be preventable if hamster companies and pet companies actually cared. They do not. They just want money. Not happy. Cheap made. One of the parts came broken. Doesn't have an easy top opening. I wouldn't buy it again. Horrible. Came broke. Too small. Wow. Lots of negative reviews. And yet people still bought the cage. All right. I guess I could do one more. I know this is very long. Why does this one say Midwest? Midwest? Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Midwest and Furplast make the same enclosure? They're two different companies. Or is Midwest the Furplast of Furplast? Is Furplast just kind of like its own thing inside Midwest? It is, right? Yeah, the Midwest Furplast. Yeah, no, okay, I'm not going crazy, but there's another section of a freaking Furplast cage. Midwest, okay, just small pets. No, Furplast is its own thing. Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, I'm very, very much confused. Furplast is its own thing. Oh, hey, look, there's me. <laughs> I'm one of the first YouTube videos even above its own YouTube channel. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully it helps. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Hamster Midwest homes for pets. Yeah, they're two different things. What the heck? And look at all these cages right here. Yeah. Critterville, Brisby, Hamster Home. And then what about this one? This one is... Okay. So this is, this is definitely not United States. Um, hamsters and mice. Wait, wait a minute. That's the exact same one. How's this one? Wait a minute, is Furplast just the United Kingdom's version? And then Midwest is the US version? Dragster, okay, so this one says Dragster, this one says Hot Rod. It's the exact same one by two different companies. Oh, am I blown, what is this? Okay, apparently it's either a partnership for the same product that was made for two different companies or it's the same company, but there's just a different name in the United States. I, I don't know, I'm not looking into this right now, but here you go, there's the information I discovered. Um, but why is there two different listings on Amazon for it? Doesn't make sense. I know it comes in two different colors because one of them was green and this one's blue. A buying customer review of free products? 
What? You got a free product because you're a Vine customer? What is this? I love this cage. Only bad thing is the water bottle is teeny tiny and I have to fill way too often. If water bottle was larger, it would totally give five stars. We have had our teddy bear hamster living in this for a few months now and she loves it. There is so much room for her to go around and explore and lots of room for me to add things to her cage for her. I have never added a tube to the cage. I don't see any listed to buy unless you buy other brands tubes to attach. Question mark. Doesn't seem like you've done a lot of research research on this, but I hate cleaning tubes, so I wouldn't add anyways, I don't think. So you're not going to expand is what she's saying. She's saying she's not gonna add tubes because it's too hard to clean, not gonna expand. Let's limit your hamster. Cool, okay. Uh, next one is not a verified review. This one is with an actual, that looks a little bit bigger than the one I had. What is this? It has an actual video in it. This cage is great for viewing hamsters. It has a nice play area. The running wheel is assembled so it wobbles and makes so much noise that the hamster had to be moved to the garage for the night. Oh, that's not a good idea. Garages, they don't regulate heat very well. And if the temperature drops, you could send your hamster into a state of which it might not recover from. If their body temperatures drop severely, you could kill them. This is a bad idea. Why did you do this, human? Like, okay, so this is very blurry. I can't see it, but it looks a lot larger than I remember. Unless this is a different size. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go check out real quick the dimensions. This one says it's 23rd by 14. That's still small. And you can still see the Syrian hamster next to that wheel. And it is, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's still 340 square inches. And by sticking a small child next to it, it makes it look big. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna end there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. The straw poll is gonna be in the description. So click on that link and take the poll. Let me know which enclosure you want me to review next. And subscribe if you're new here, like to become a part of the Munchkin family. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around and hopefully my voice will recover. Bye-bye.